Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy the Boss Dreams. Welcome back to another Man 16 video. New content has dropped. These Madden Superlatives are out. Get 10 collectibles into this set and you get an elite Superlative col uh, player. We're going to go through some of the players. The collectibles, they're all going around 10k-ish. Oh, yeah, around about 10k, maybe 9k for some of them. But here are some of the players. We've got the lower ones like Hasselbeck, uh, Stanton. We've also got the low ones. We've got Armstead. We've also got Jared Allen, uh, Collins. Uh, who is that? Green Beckham, wide receiver. See how it, what is that? He's most likely to succeed. Let's see what some others are. Byron Jones, best hops. See what else have we got? It's not too bad. This is a pretty good promo. Best heard, Andrew Williams. Some decent cards here. Um, the best one, of course, being that Jordy Nelson, 95 overall. So that is pretty good. Here's Jarvis Landry with the best hands. He's actually got a 100 catch, which is crazy for like, what was he, an 89 overall? 89 overall card with a 100 catch. That is bizarre, but Jared Allen here with best personality. Let's check. He's got 97 player X, so I suppose that's really good as well. What else we got? Desmond Trifonts for Mr. Invisible. 92 speed. Like again, another good card. But these ain't going to be too expensive. They're going to be about. Well, these ones, as you can see, these are all on under 100k. We got Jordan Reed here, best red zone target. Unfortunately, the the auction ended. So we've also got the best celebration, Travis Kels, which ain't too bad. Best beard with Eric Weddle. His 88 speed is pretty slow, though. I have to admit. Uh, we've got a middle linebacker, the one Buchanan, most changed. <laughs> then his stats look class for a middle linebacker. 93 to 2 speed and 96 hit power. These are the more expensive ones towards the end, like Steve Smith Sr. With the best vocals. Again, look at his stats, his are very good as well. What else? These are definitely now, he's one of the best. Workout Warrior, Cameron Wake, 94 overall this time. I think this is the second highest. 85 speed, 98 power move, so that's really good. And of course, there is the Jordan Nelson. There was one on the auction block before, but unfortunately, there isn't one now. So, overall, it is a really good um, promo. Maybe for the high tier players, it's not as good. But of course, there's this Victor Cruz as well, best dressed. I'll probably get him. I'm thinking of making an all Giants team, but we'll have to see with pack and play and stuff like that, so we'll have to see. But I might make an all Giants team. Also, I know not many people are going to notice this, but football outsiders are out. It's going to be shadowed by that new promo, but I'm just going to show the top two elites. One of them is this limited edition just sitting, which is a 94 overall. His stats actually look really, really nice with that 97 pass blocking, but Help the Green Bear by running backs t gain 10 yards per carry with the 71% success rate. And also there's this Cliff Avril, which is second ice with a 96 finesse move on a 91 play rec with 85 speed, which is pretty fast for a right end 89 overall. See how we got it. Five tackles, three tackle for losses, and three QB hits. We're going to go into the packs now. We've got a little bundle. Let's see what we can get. So these are the new packs that are out, the superlative packs contains a guaranteed category collectible or winner player, at least three gold or elite players and a mixture of three other players. So we are going to get this 99 coins one, see what we can get in it. We start off with a gold Antonio Smith, see what we can get, we get an Andrea Brown, anything else and we get their collectible, the best dressed collectible with another gold card so the first pack wasn't that good so we are going to get the bundle it's not going to be the 22 pack one because i'm not going to pay that much money but i will get the six pack one concerns a top of six collectibles so we're just going to do that to get that one out the rest of it over there we can't get players in this it's only collectibles we actually get two vocal ones though so They'll just, I'll probably just end up selling them. I'm probably not going to do the set because there's so many cards that you can get that are not worth it. Like, I'll probably end up getting Stanton or someone like that. 
that goes for like 8,000 and that's like one collectible. So let's get straight into those packs. This being number one. We start off with a free bow pack. So we'll put that on the set straight away. And there's our collectible, guaranteed collectible. If you can get any elites, we do get two golds there. They are 80 overall pluses, but we are looking for these new players. That would be very nice. In pack number two. Start off with a Patrick Chung 89 overall for the Patriots. And we also get the best beard collectible also. For that set, you don't need specific ones. They're all just 10,000 coins. So it doesn't matter which one you get really. But I'd advise you not to sell them now. Wait a day. Wait a bit. Just so um, they go up in price. Because everyone's going to be pulling these packs. So the collectibles are going to be for the lowest coins. If you want to buy the players... Probably now is the best time to buy the players. But here we get another collectible. So you either get a collectible or a player. So it's like legend packs really with a collectible item or a player. But the chances are you're probably going to get a collectible. So, so far we haven't got anything else besides from the collectibles and a couple of gold cards. Except for that Patrick Chung. But I don't think he's going for that much. We'll reveal it all on this one. We get another workout warrior one. And we actually get four golds in this one because we get that seven suit overall one. We'll end up keeping that. Our next pack. Start off with Cowboys defense. And we get an 85 overall Mario Williams. Nothing to get excited over as he's probably gone for about 7k. Then it's definitely better than a gold card, but we do get another collectible on this. So unfortunately that was the last pack. So we didn't get two bad cards you can sell them for some coins so i ain't too bad so that is the video please like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'm out peace